What's going on guys, it's Alright here. Today we have a really exciting unboxing. The S10 Plus is finally in our hands. Let's unbox this thing. So if you don't know, the Galaxy S is actually uh, Samsung's most flagship uh, smartphone. This is like under the uh, Note series. So this year is their 10th generation, that's why they call it S10. So they have made quite a big deal about this and then they have released three different versions of the S10. The S10 starts with the S10e, which is like more of the basic version of the lineup and it starts at 2699 ringgit. And the S10 Plus right here is the biggest um, of the lot, start, uh, uh, which starts at 3699 ringgit. And you can upgrade it to a larger storage with um, 512 gigabyte for only 4599 ringgit. The one we have here is just the base um, S10 Plus which has, comes with a uh, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. So let's open this box now. So here's the box for the S10 Plus itself. Now all the S10 and S10 Plus, they'll come in this uh, black box and the color of the device actually corresponds to the color on the text in front. Now mine's a prism black model, that's why it's uh, writing in grey. And uh, being a retail unit, it does have that warranty registration sticker on the front. There's also some writings on the back regarding the specs and the rest of the box is actually pretty clean apart from the side where it says the uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus It's um, pretty barely um, visible as well So mine does have a seal but uh, I can't wait to open it just now so I've broken that seal and lifting the top cover off, removing that sticker, the device is on top Wow, the first impressions this device feels expensive as usual. Uh, we're going to put it to the side and then we'll come back to that in a second. Now, the rest of the box contains the usual accessories. First, we have the USB um, uh, power plug. It does have uh, quick charge capabilities. And one fun fact, um, because mine's a prism black model, it does come with a um, black color. <clears throat> uh, it's actually color coded to the black color. Um, as well as other accessories uh, in black color as well and we have the USB-C to USB type A adapter it's a USB 3.1 actually, uh, 3.0 3.1 actually um, then we have the USB type C cable now this is for charging and um, data transfer and we have uh, be being the S Galaxy S flagship model it does come with 8kg tuned earphones now you thought the um, that's it for the box and you're wondering where's the paperwork and all the other stuff. Um, the There's a trick on the um, box cover itself. When you flip it over, there's another carton in there. I have no idea why Samsung did this. It does have your uh, tray removal tool which has. And then opening up the uh, bottom itself. You are presented with uh, a few documentations in various languages. You have your warranty card, getting started to your device. And of course, it does come with a case. Now, mine comes with a clear hard case. Now, some some uh, users have reported that they receive a soft case. You have your quick start guide. And that's it for the box itself. So, being a uh, premium flagship smartphone from Samsung, the design of the S10 Plus will actually remind you of uh, more recent Samsung uh, smartphones, including the previous last year's Galaxy S9 or even the Note 9 which was launched end of last year. So, the, the curved display edges on the front and the rear side, the aluminium chassis with chrome effect in between, and the, uh, the fragile feel of phone all adds up to Samsung's design language. It just screams, this is our premium flagship smartphone. So the overall source is uh, pretty similar to the S9 Plus. And this time, Samsung managed to reduce the thinness to just 7.8mm. So even with this Plus model, the dimensions are still smaller than the Note 9. So that's a bit of differentiation between the Note and the Galaxy S series. Now this design still stands out in the crowd and still easily recognizable as a Samsung smartphone. One of the biggest changes you know, on the front is a new 6.4 inch display which is now a lot taller to actually fill up the front panel. Now there's a small little lip at the bottom but the bezels on the sides are very minimal and another thing that stands out is the cutouts for the two cameras and a few sensors on the top right corner 
of the display and Samsung actually calls this an Infinity O display. So I think we'll have some fun trying to get used to this cutout and which actually contains a pair of 10 megapixel and 8 megapixel front facing cameras. Some of the normal sensors and the earpiece remains at the top but the iris scanner has been ditched um, in favor of a more regular face unlock. S10 Plus also debuts the new dynamic AMOLED panel along with an in-display fingerprint reader. Now on the left, the volume and Bixby button remains and one good thing about the S10 Plus is that you can actually customize the use of the Bixby button. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Bixby button. The power button remains on the right and the 3.5mm headphone jack remains and it's located at the bottom uh, along with the USB Type-C connector and one of the channels for the loudspeaker. And the removable tray on the top houses either two nano SIM cards or a combination of a nano SIM and micro SD card. Now the glass design on the back remains and now it actually utilizes Gorilla Glass 5. The camera housing really reminds you of the Samsung's recent Galaxy Note devices and it's just simple they just kept it at the back very clean. From the left, there's a 12 megapixel telephoto zoom lens, a regular 12 megapixel lens with dual aperture and dual pixel, and the new 16 megapixel 123 degrees ultra wide lens, with the first two having the optical stabilization and ocular focus technology. There's also an LED flash next to them, and also the usual heart rate sensor that's present on more of the recent Samsung smartphones. So that's it for the unboxing and the first impressions of the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now stay subscribed because I will be spending quite a long time with the S10 Plus. So I'll be coming up with a complete review of the uh, S10 Plus as well as a timely update on what is it like to live with the S10 Plus for a longer period of time. So smash the like button if you like this content. Stay subscribed and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.